do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied what is first order reaction and what is zero order reaction but now we are going to talk about a topic which is pseudo first order reaction so let us see what is this so before understanding what is pseudo first order reaction we should understand what is the definition of pseudo first order reaction so let us the reaction that have higher order true rate law but are found to be behave as first order are known as pseudo first order reaction as you know that rate law is dependent on the concentration of reactant raised to the experimental exponents that is x and y so this experimental exponents so this experimental exponents only decides the order of reaction but for a pseudo first order reaction this could get changed how we will talk about it by taking an example like hydrolysis of methyl acetate in acidic medium so let us see what happens when hydrolysis of methyl acetate takes place when we are talking in order of reaction point of view so just for an instance suppose if i made a reaction of methyl acetate with water in presence of an acidic medium then i could get an acetic acid plus methanol so we can apply the rate law for this reaction so after applying rate law we could get the rate of reaction is equals to the rate constant k lagi sir sardi ho gaya sir ch3 co o ch3 into concentration of h2 so by looking at this reaction or this rate law we could determine that the value of x that is the expected value of x and y is 1 which makes the order of reaction to be x plus y which is nothing but 2 so the expected order of reaction is 2 but in hydrolysis we take water molecules in excess so when water molecules or any molecule when or any reactant when is present in excess it will remain constant throughout the whole reaction so therefore the reaction in so therefore the reaction will have so therefore the reactant will be in excess and hence will remain constant throughout the whole reaction therefore i could write this equation as since h2o concentration is present in excess the rate law will now be rate is equals to k concentration of methyl acetate into k dash this is the concentration of reactant that i have represented for water so therefore the rate will be now k into k dash ch3 co ch3 and now in this case the experimental component is x which is 1 so therefore the overall order of reaction will be 1 itself this played a very important role to make it pseudo first order reaction that is concentration of water if any of the concentration of the reactant is present in excess that would remain constant throughout the whole the reaction and hence that will not have a particular order of 
that reactant and hence in this case the h2 and hence in this case the and hence in this case the concentration of h2 is been taken as constant and hence the original order of reaction will be first order reaction initially it had showed us it is a second order reaction but it has eventually find out that it was to be a first order reaction and since pseudo implies it's a false thing or a thing which is lie and hence it has lied us from second to one that is from second order to first order and hence it is said to be a pseudo first order reaction so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got an idea that what does pseudo first order reaction means so please share this video with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe ekeda channel thank you so much